The left-wing anti-gun deceivers want you to believe that suppressors are the tools of assassins and nothing more. The fact is, that is only true in the movies. In real life, suppressors are a real tool, a safety feature that can dramatically okay. decrease the risk of hearing loss when firing your guns. The folks over at Daily Signal put together a six-minute video titled um, Underreported Gun Suppressors. And Here, folks, is a clip. I think a lot of people hear the name of this law, the Hearing Protection Act, and think that lawmakers and special interest groups are trying to disguise it in a way to help public safety when really there's another interest involved. What do you say to them? It's interesting, and I can understand why sometimes people would think that it's a law trying to characterize something as a safety or a health issue when it's not. But over the last 10 years, I think the number of crimes that have involved a suppressor is something like 15. And um, the fact is that uh, people don't try to use suppressors in the commission of crimes. A woman from the Brady campaign said there's no evidence of hearing loss from firearms, which is just insane. Like, every time you fire an unsuppressed gun without hearing protection, you're getting hearing loss. Thank Frankly, you. That's just to the Daily Signal. That is a much needed piece about real news, not the fake news that we see from the mainstream media when it comes to suppressors. The real stats are this. In America today, there are over 1.1 million suppressors. Last I saw, 44 were used in a crime. That's 0. .000 something percent. Statistically, zero when it comes to suppressors being used in a crime.